and welcome to the Robo Avatars controller application video. So start by talking about some of the teleop optimizations that we do. So the driver's main tasks are to drive around the robot as well as to initiate the shoot sequence. Almost everything else is automated. So when the driver presses the shoot button, the robot aligns behind the line to the high goal, rows up the shooter, and flicks the ring three times. You also have a ring distance sensor, which determines the number of rings inside the robot at any given time. And this allows us to automatically rev up the shooter flywheel, as well as to raise the sticks so we don't incur a penalty on accident. You also have an autonomous ring pickup system, which allows our robot to autonomously figure out the positions of rings on the field, and then also generate a path in real time to pick up the rings and end up in the desired location. And you can see this on the visualization on the right. And a robot can uh, generate paths for not one, but also two rings in real time. And this makes it very similar to the Tesla autopilot beta system. And the robot is also stable to perturbations in its position. As you can see, uh, when we move around the robot's position, the ring positions change but they're relatively in the same location. And when commanded to do so, the robot will follow the path to take both of the rings and then end up in the correct location. We plan to use this in Teleop in the future to make it fully automated, but we also use it in our autonomous, as you can see in our 140 point autonomous example video. So the robot starts off by shooting the three preloaded rings into the high goal, then it picks up one ring from the starter stack and shoots that as well. Then it, uh, then it picks up the three rings from the starter stack and I'll shoot it in the power shot later on. For the 0 and 1 cases, the logic is similar, but slightly different. Then the robot picks up the three uh, bounce back rings, as many as it can. And here it got one, but it almost got two. And then it will deposit the wobble goals in the corresponding location, depending on the starter stack height at the early beginning, whether it be 0, 1, or 4. Then the robot will deposit the wobble goals, and with the help of the sticks, park on the blue chain. For a quick summary for our tie-up optimizations, you have a one-button shoot sequence that automatically aligns the robot and shoots three rings. We also have a ring distance sensor that detects the number of rings inside the robot to help us avoid accidental penalties. We also have an automatic ring detection system that calculates the coordinates of rings on the field using a custom tuned algorithm and plans pathing in real time to collect the rings. We also have a 140.4 stack autonomous that shoots the rings that have bounced back from the power shots using the automatic ring detection. Thank you for watching.